Welcome to Meg Unix Stitches YouTube channel. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Meg, your favorite fashion tutor, committed to showing you easy ways to cut and sew. So if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, you want to do so right away and turn on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will be the first person to know. So on this channel, I am on a series on sleeve drafting. So I want to show us how to draft different types of trendy sleeve. Okay, so in the, in, in the previous class, in the last class, we looked at how to draft the basic sleeve, both the long sleeve and the short sleeve. Okay, how to draft both the, the long basic sleeve and the short basic sleeve. So if you have not seen this video, I want you to go right away and check them out because for every other type of sleeve we are going to be drafting in class, you need the knowledge from this particular class, from this basic sleeve class, so that the other sleeve types would be easier for you. So I'll be dropping the link in the description section of this video so you can assess the the class on how to draft the basic long sleeve and the basic short sleeve it's a detailed video and is recommended for both beginners and non-beginners trust me you will learn a lot okay so in today's class in today's class we are going to be looking at how to draft the pointed arc sleeve the pointed arc sleeve or you can call it the pointy, the pointy arc sleeve, okay? And this is the pattern we are going to be using. This is, you can see I said you need to go, go back to watch this particular video. This is uh, the short sleeve pattern, okay? The short sleeve pattern. Here we have the short sleeve pattern, you can see. Okay, so it is this pattern that we are going to be using to draft the pointy arc sleeve, the pointy arc sleeve, okay? Now here is the armhole, armhole section, the armhole region. So I'll just be notching it, okay? So here is the armhole region and this is the length of the sleeve, okay? And of course, this is half block, this is half. When I want to trace on the fabric, we are going to put our fabric on fold. Okay, this is half. But for the short sleeve, you want to draft on fold. You want to draft on fold. You can see this is a full sleeve. But for this pointy arc, you can draft just the half block. Okay, so here is it now. Here is the armhole section. Now, the pointy arc sleeve is just like the cap sleeve. Okay, which means that we are not going to be using the entire armhole um dead this is the armhole this is the part that will go around the sleeve so for the pointy arc sleeve we do not need all of this just like the cap sleeve because it will not go around the armhole it will stop midway along the armhole okay now in that case i'm going to be measuring out six inches from this beginning point i would measure six inches because I don't want, we are not going to be using, using the entire circumference for this style of sleeve. So you want to take your tape room and you want to place it this way. Okay. You want to place it this way and you want to measure six inches. Just curve it around. Okay. My tape is one inches short. So you might see seven, but it is six I'm actually measuring. Okay. So you want to just take it round like so, and you want to mark at mark at that six inches. Just make, make a mark at that six inches point. Mind you, it can be less. It can be less, but your aim is that you don't want to use all of this armhole circum, arm circumference here, okay? Because it is not going to get to the end of the armhole. So this is my six inches mark here, as you can see. Now, along, along the length, Along the armhole, we took six inches. Along the length, um, I will take three inches. You can take more than that, but remember that it has to be short. 
okay for you to get the the design of the sleeve okay so here is my three inches points this point here is my three inches point along the length why this point here is my six inches point along the arm hole so i'll be connecting this point together with a slant line so you want to just connect together with a slant line okay exactly what i'm doing so just connect like so and this is the part that we are going to be using to form the pointy arc pointy arc sleeve so the next thing is just to cut out Cut out along this point. Okay, so this part, we don't need this part anymore. So I'll just take it away. This is the part that we, we are going to be making use of. Don't forget to notch the armhole area so that you will not get confused as we continue. Okay, so here is the arm of the six inches. Now, the next thing you want to do is to pick up get another pattern paper like this okay get another pattern paper like this and you want to you want to place this this piece here you want to place it on it like so okay you want to place it let's say at the center point like this okay just place it like this and you want to pin down so right now we want to be forming i want to form the arc the pointy the pointy shape we want to get the pointy shape so just place on a, another pattern like this and you want to pin down okay you want to pin you want to pin it down if you have a pinable table you just pin down you just make sure that you pin down correctly okay so i'm just going to pin down at different points so just to hold it and hold it down so right now we have pinned down as you can see the next thing we're going to do now is to okay make sure that your, when you place down it is not bent so from this point here from this down point here i'm going to be measuring three inches okay i think i, I need to place this at the center because i need enough space along this point here i need enough space along this point here so i removed the pin and i'm going to be changing the position the position okay so you can now pin down here make sure you have the amount of um the amount the amount of allowance you need at this point i'm, I'm going to explain that when we get to that point just pay attention okay so you want to just pin down so i just want to pin down here just to hold it down all right so once you've pinned down like so make sure you have you know excess pattern here now i want to from this point here i want to measure three inches yours can be more than three inches but for the sake of this particular um, tutorial i'm making a mark at three inches three inches okay so here is my three inches points so i'm going to be connecting it to this down part i'll connect to this down part like so stopping at the three inches then from this point here from this point here i will take it to this armhole area here I would, I, would, I would connect with a, a slant line to this armhole point here, okay? So here is what we have. So I'll just connect together like so. Yes, yeah, so this is what we've gotten. So you can see this is going to be the pointed area here, the pointed part. You know, it's, it's called the pointed arc sleeve. So right now we can cut out exactly what we have. We'll cut out this shape that we have already. So remember what we did? We, we, I stepped out by three inches. Then I connected to this armhole point here. So I'll just be cutting out.
So it just cuts out. Then I'll cut out this point too. And you want to just shape along, cut along the armhole. Okay, so make sure that um, you you cut out correctly. So I'm just kind of reshaping this down part. Okay, so after cutting out like so, this is still the armhole area, the six inches. Okay, so you want to also notch it so that it would appear on the other pattern. So now you can take this upper one, this one up here, you can take off your pins. Okay, you can take off your pins and we take it out. So this is what we have now. This is the armhole part. You can see the notch. Okay, so this is exactly what we need. So we're going to be tracing this on fold. Okay. So we're going to be tracing this pattern here on our fabric. Okay. So this is the armhole region. You can see the part that has the notch is the armhole region. This from here to here is a three inches extension. Yours can be more. Then we connected it to the armhole read points here. So our fabric is on fold. You can see you place your fabric on fold like so. Then this part here, this uncut part, this part of your, this part of your pattern the three inches extension part that goes to the armhole is where you will be placing along the uncut parts of your fabric okay so here is the part you will place on the on the fabric on along the uncut parts so you want to pin down okay you want to pin down like so so make sure it aligns at the center point here so once you have pinched down, I'm going to be adding half an inch all round, half an inch all round, okay? So you want to add that as your allowance, half an inch. So I've traced out, I've added the half an inch along the down part and along the top part, okay? So don't forget to notch the armhole region okay on the fabric itself you want to notch it okay so here is it i've notched it so we can take this pattern out now now this is the arc sleeve okay this is how it would look like so you need we need double we need we need double of this one will serve as the lining okay to turn in So we need two of these. One will serve as the facing, okay? So you're going to, you know, if this is the, this is how it's going to look like. This is the pointy part. This is the part that, we, that we're going to fix along the armhole, okay? Around the armhole. Now, we can't fix it like this because it's not going to, the pointy axe is supposed to, supposed to stand, okay? So for us to give it that firm structure, we need to infuse interfacing to this piece, to one of the pieces. So you, you want to use either your collar stay or even your chest pad or um, the one we use in making padded blouses, okay? That's your breast pad or your chest pad or the art stay. That's the collar stay. You want to infuse it on one of the pieces like so. Then you can turn with the other piece and when you are when you are cutting your your interfacing you want to use this particular pattern that does not have allowance okay so that when you place it on it when you place it on let me let, let's 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 um put it on fold you want to use this your pattern here to trace the interfacing so that when you place it like so it would not go round it will not affect your allowance okay 
it would not affect the allowance you're going to be taking in. So we're going to be doing that right away. And I'll be showing you on my dress form how it looks like. All right, so here is the art stay we are going to be using, okay, to give this um, fabric a level of structure. And I said that you want to, you want to use the pattern to cut it, okay? You want to use a pattern that does not have the allowance to cut. So just put your, you put your stay using a breast pad or whatever you're using. Just make sure it is hard enough. Don't use them, the soft one. So you want to place it the same way. Remember that this is this part that should touch the uncut part, okay? So you want to just place it like so. You want to place it like this and you want to hold it down and just trace exactly what you have here. So we'll just trace it. All right, so I've traced out. Now this, this is the arm hole part. Okay, you want to also notch it. You want to notch this part, okay? Now, this down part here, this pointed part, if you don't want it so sharp, you can actually curve it a bit. You can curve it a bit, just a little bit. You can just, you know, blend the sharpness a bit so that it's not so sharp. And you do the same on the fabric itself, okay? If you don't want this down part sharp to have this sharp point here, you can actually blend the sharp points. Just a bit, just um, can give it a round shape, okay? Just to reduce the sharpness. So once you're done with that, you take to your pressing table and you want to press this along the wrong side. The gummy part, you just place it like so, okay? I'm going to press this down now. So I'll do that. All right, guys, so you see, I've infused the interfacing and it has a level of structure now. It's harder than it was. This is the part we are going to pull around the armhole and this is the pointed part, okay? So, of course, you need to cut on another piece of this fabric to cover up this, okay? So, I'll be showing us how it looks like right now on our dress form. All right, so here is the pointed axe sleeve. You can see how lovely it is looking. Look at the pointed part here, okay? And this is the part that goes towards the armhole. You can see the notch area here, okay? And we also have it at the back here. Okay, so this particular sleeve, you can attach it on your, on your outfit just like this. Either a blouse, a gown, a top. It can just, you can just, this can be the only sleeve on the, on the dress. Or you can make a basic sleeve and just put this on top. You can use your net or any other transparent material to make a basic sleeve and you just sew this on it like this. So it just look like that kind of style I'm sure you must have seen. So if you don't know how to draft, draft a basic sleeve, you want to click on the link in the description section of this video and watch how to draft a perfect basic sleeve okay so this is our pointed arc sleeve you can see the back here is the back view you can see how lovely it is okay so if you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly do so right away so that when i upload another video you'll be the first person to know so please like this video comment and share if you have any question Feel free to drop your question until we see.